So for today, we're going to be using the Limitless subversion. Specifically, we're going to be using some of the pieces and some sets. If you guys don't know, you usually uh, review an armor set, which I've already reviewed the casual sets right here. Uh, go check it out. We usually look at how the armor looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts on it. And yeah, it's a really good It's a really good video if you guys want to just really gauge if you want to get the armor or not. But in this video, we're going to be using specifically pieces from that armor set for the hunters. So we're going to be using the cloak, boots, chest piece, and the helmet. I, I forego the arms just because the arms are not my favorite, actually. Like, I, I actually hate them, so that's why I'm not using them. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it. I really appreciate all of the support you guys have been showing. The videos are doing really, really well, and they would be doing nothing if you guys weren't watching it. So I really do appreciate you guys. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet, the Limitless Subversions cask. This one is super, super cool. I ended up deciding just to put it in my Astrocyte set that I've usually done with a twist, which the twist would be Bright Tech Combat Vest. That's the only twist here because I have used some of these pieces before with the shader Stalwart Tenant. I really like this shader. This one's really cool just because the helmet is so like alien looking that you can really combine it with a lot of pieces and it's going to look really, really cool. So for the helmet, obviously, we're using the new helmet. For the arms, diamond spore, and grips with the Braytech uh, combat vest, I combined these two because obviously the off color for that chest piece, specifically the under chest armor, is orange, and I wanted it to retain that off color, so that's why I'm using diamond spore and grips. For the for um, for the boots, astrocytes, for the boots, astrocytes is an easy choice just because it's super super cool. Definitely one of the best ornaments in the game for me. And then psionic stalker cloak just because i wanted to have a little bit more cloth on the neck because obviously the Bray tech combat vest has a lot of cloth in there so i wanted to have some cloth in there as well uh pretty cool set i really do like this set unfortunately uh zombies are getting nerfed to the fucking ground so i don't know how useful this is going to be in the future but for right now it's really really cool and i really do like it uh a little bit of a cop out considering uh, i've done stompy's looks before and this one is just kind of like it's kind, of, it's kind of the same of that, but I still really, really like it. The next one, though, is completely unique. I really, really love this one. Uh, this one, we're going to be utilizing Gemini Jester with the Trickster ornament. So you definitely want to get the Trickster ornament if you want to use Gemini Jesters in a fashion setting because Gemini Jesters is purple and it just never will not be purple. And if you have the Trickster ornament, it actually does change color. Granted, you still are limited because there's some colors that don't change, but it's better than just pure purple. So for the helmet, Mechanic 1.2 uh, was a choice I made because if you guys haven't noticed, I'm using Warbrick as the shader. And if you guys know anything about Warbrick, you guys will know that Warbrick is actually a very annoying shader to combine with because a lot of the pieces that I have with this is off colors. So the Warbrick's red is mainly off color. You'll never see it in a main color armor piece. Just because, again, it is the off color, which is weird because it's right there. But that's why I'm using a lot of the pieces that I'm using. Siege Breaker Grips, another example of why I'm using it is because a lot of that red is off color. And then the Limitless Subversion because obviously I have to use the chest piece. And I still actually look, I think it looks really cool with this set. But it also is cool because it takes the off color for the undershirt. And then obviously Trickster Ornament for the Gemini Jester just because... You guys are going to nerf Stompies, then I'm going to start doing fashion for the really, really annoying exotics in the game. And Gemini Jester is definitely one of them. And then Candice Cloak, because the top cloak or the top part of the cloak is actually an off color. The back is, I think it's black, if I remember correctly. And yeah, it's it's super dope. I really, really like this. You can definitely combine this with other shaders that utilize off colors. We do have quite a bit of shaders that do that. But I think red, like Warbreak for me is just one of the best reds in the game. And it's just unfortunate that it is an off color. So let me know what you guys think about this one. This one is definitely my favorite just because it looks really, really cool. The only a gripe I have with it is the fact that Siege Breaker grips. And this is not like a poke at the set itself. I think the set is cool. It's just the fact that the Siege Breaker on the left arm has this like triangle thing coming out. And I fucking hate that. And if you try to use the Siege Breaker like the... The under armor version which is like which is the hold fast grips then i the only problem with the hold fast grips is the fact that like side but the side of the arm doesn't change color so you are stuck with this really weird white and i don't even know if the off color would even be in there so that's really really unfortunate as for the next set this is a basic black hunter you guys will probably be memeing on this 
but I decided to do, do an all black for this one specifically because the Limitless Aversion Strides takes the off color for the pockets. You guys will see that in the next set, but for this one, I wanted an all black look because I know some hunters are just going to want that. Granted, I am using Faux Tracer, which is probably not the best exotic because it's pretty trash in my opinion, but we are using the warm painted ornament for it. So it does look really, really cool. For the shader, we're using Cryptic Insignia with er Erebos Glance and with Amethyst Veil. So there's a lot of black shaders in here. Let me explain my thought process. So uh, Couturier Grips with the Erebos Glance, I'm using those two specifically because the Cryptic Insignia, it, it turns it all white and then the top like shoulder pad turns it black. And the same thing for Amethyst Veil, I think it turns it all purple and then still retains that shoulder pad black. So that's why I'm using Erebos Glance. For the chest piece Intrepid Discovery Vest, I just wanted to use that just because I really like this chest piece and it does go really well with the Limitless Subversion. Uh, speaking of the Limitless Subversion, Cryptic Insignia is going to be your best choice if you want to go for an all black look. You do have like that really bright blue uh, on the on the straps. That's probably the best black shader you'll find because Erebos Glance uh, gives the pockets a really weird color. And any other shader I've noticed just gives the off color, like the really weird off color for the pockets, which again, you guys will see in the next set, which I will show you guys like right immediately after this one. For the Dynamo Current Cloak, the reason I'm using that is because again, a lot of the colors just look really weird, especially for Aurable's Glance. Uh, if you guys notice the top of the cloak has like uh, armor and that actually will take like a, like, like a brown, if I remember correctly, or an orange. I don't remember off the top of my head. But it takes like a really weird color for the top one. And then Cryptic Insignia is even worse because it'll give you like a really bright blue. So that's why I'm using some of the shaders that I'm using. For the other set, this is ex almost exactly the same. I just switch out the arms because quite frankly, the arms were pissing me off and I was trying to find like a good shader for it. And I was trying to find a shader that wasn't like all black. So for this one, we're using Queensguard Valor. Really love this shader. Um, I will be reviewing some of these shaders hopefully by the end of this week if not next week just because i do have a lot of things planned but same thing for this one the only thing that's different is vanguard dare grips that's the only one i switched out and i really like this one because it makes the event like the shoulder pads if you guys don't know if the shoulder pads are like very discolored but with queen's guard valor it actually doesn't bother me because a lot of the leather stuff is already kind of discolored so kind of like goes well together so yeah, that's giving you guys two sets for this one. And you guys will notice that the boots have like that white color, which is the off color. So that's really unfortunate because if it didn't have that white color or the off color for the pockets, I think these boots would have been super dope. And then last but not least, we're going to be using the cloak with the chest piece just because I personally don't like how the cloak looks without the chest piece. Because if you guys don't know that like leather padding on the like chest piece, specifically like on the collarbone, that's actually connected to the cloak. So if you take it out, or if you take the chest piece out, it just looks fucking weird. Uh, and we're using Siege Breaker, Siege Breaker grips again because I kind of am going for an off color look as well. So for the helmet Intrepid Discovery Mask with the Limitless Subversion Cloak, I think it looks really cool together. I think it looks super cool, actually. Uh, Siege Breaker grips again, Limitless Subversion chest piece. I really like this one. And if I remember correctly, I also did use this for, yeah, I did use this for the, uh, the off color one as well. But again, this one is more utilizing the cloak than the chest piece. And then for the boots, we're using the frosties with the 8,000 dirt ornament. Overall, I do like this set a lot. I personally do think the Gemini Jester set looks way better, but if you are rocking like a frosty slug, this definitely will look cool. Um, Shader situation, again, same thing. I'm going for like almost an all black look with the off color being like the main focus sometimes, or not even sometimes, just mainly with the off color being the main focus. And Amethyst Veil is a really cool like blue color. Like it's a very deep, rich blue. And I really, really like that. So let me know what you guys think about these sets. I personally really like a lot of these sets. I think the Gemini Jester is definitely like the best one just because it looks really, really cool. I know a lot of people are going to give this armor set shit specific, like all for all the classes, not just the hunter. I know a lot of people are going to give it shit just because it's casual armor, but I, I really love casual armor just because uh, you get to explore another side of our like, fashion that most people don't usually go for. A lot of people usually go for like combat ready looking armor. And I'm just like, dude, honestly, sometimes the casual set just goes super hard. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Don't worry, Titans and Warlocks, you guys will get your own video. 
I'm currently working on it. And other than that, be safe and I'll see you guys later.